Warm greetings from GNV Academy. Today in this session, we will discuss about digital archiving. Before we move ahead, let me quickly tell you about the key points to be discussed in this session. In this session, we will be discuss what is digital archiving. Why is digital archiving important? Benefits of digital archiving. How to achieve successful digital archiving? Where to achieve business digital data? Types of digital archives and how to preserve digital archives. So let's begin our discussion and talk what is digital archiving. Digital archiving is an important business practice that organization should take seriously. It helps prevent data loss and other disaster from happening, while also ensuring that records are preserved and can be accessed anytime. Digital archiving is a process of preserving digital content for future use. It is important for organizations to achieve their digital content to keep it safe from data loss and other disaster in order to avoid any adverse effects. Organizations should be aware of the importance of digital archiving in order to prevent any potential problems that could arise in the future. Digital archives can be used to preserve new and important information. Organizations, whether for profit, not for profit, need to have a way to document and store digital records. For example, a company might want to achieve their marketing campaign for future reference or for when they need to share the information with their legal counsel. It involves many aspects such as data management, data storage, data migration, digital preservation and metadata management and refers to information storage and management of digitized data. Let us now discuss why digital archiving is important. Capturing, storing and later assessing digital data has become a necessity due to the rapid growth of digital content over the past 20 years. Digital archiving is important for business because they allow for the storage and organization of important documents and data. This can include financial records, employee information and customer data. By keeping all of the information in a digital format, it is easy for businesses to access and use as needed. It is important to archive the data so it can be easily assessed in the future. Archives can be dangerous in that they are prone to tampering and destruction as well as accidental destruction from natural disasters. Some data is simply lost over time due to decay or due to the user's lack of knowledge on how long their device has been in use. Lastly, data can be lost or deleted from devices. The only way to get data back is through backups and syncing, which also required a lot of time and resources. This is why it's important to have a plan in place on how you will do this. We will now discuss about the benefits of digital archiving. There are many benefits of digital archiving including the first one is increased efficiency. Among the top digital archiving benefits is the ability to increase operational efficiency. Digital archiving can help organizations become more efficient by automating many of the tasks associated with managing paper records, such as filling, retrieving and destroying records. The second one is improved access. Digital archiving can provide anytime, anywhere access to records, which can be a major advantage for organizations that need to share records with employees or customers located in different geographic areas. The third one is enhanced security. Security is considered one of the top digital archiving benefits as it can help protect records from physical damage or destruction as well as unauthorized access. The fourth one is cost saving. Cost saving is also considered one of the top digital archiving benefits as it can save organizations money by reducing the need for storage space as well as the cost associated with managing paper records. The biggest cost saving come from not having to print documents. Printing documents can be expensive, especially if you need to print in color. The fifth one is increased productivity. The biggest productivity gains come from not having to search for documents. If you can find documents quickly, you can get work done faster. This is especially important if you need to find documents that are not in your office. The sixth one is improved customer service. Among the top digital archiving benefits is the ability to improve customer service. Customers can access documents 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 
So we will now move ahead and discuss how to successfully achieve digital achieving. The following are some of the ways in which archives can be successful. The first one is developing a digital archive policy. An important first step in preserving your digital assets is to develop a digital archive policy. The second one is selecting and training staff members. Third one is creating a digital archive plan. A digital archive plan is an outline for the process of organizing and storing data for future use. A digital archive plan is important for any business that relies on data to function. It is also important for any person that may have a need for data at a later date. The fourth one is ensuring that there is appropriate funding for the project. So let us now discuss where to archive business digital data. The first step to take when deciding which type of archive you should use to determine what your needs are. Some archives are better for storing large files, while others work better with similar files. For example, if you have a lot of small files that you need to store and retrieve quickly, then a cloud-based archive might be a good option. Some archives offer both local and cloud storage options so that you can choose which one is best for your business. You might want to consider this so that if one system goes down or becomes too expensive, then you will still have access to your data. You will take up and discuss the types of digital archives. There are several types of digital archives that businesses can use to store and organize their digital information. Some examples include the first one is cloud storage. This is the most common type of digital archive today in which information is stored on remote servers, making it always available and accessible from anywhere. The second one is network, attached storage and AS. This type of archive enables organizations to set up servers on their network to store and archive digital data. The issues is the most of the time. This information cannot be accessed outside of the organization's walls. The third one is local storage. Data is kept on a hard drive or another local device, such as computer or external hard drive. This is critical because you must ensure that backups are always running and that these digital documents cannot be easily shared with others. The fourth one is document management system. This is a popular and appropriate type of digital archive in which organizations use a powerful DMS to control and manage their electronic documents. These systems offer advanced features such as version control, automated workflows and security. The fifth one is digital asset management system. These digital archives are used to store and organize digital assets like images, videos and audio files. Digital asset management software often include features like tagging and metadata management to help with organization and search ability. And now as a final point of discussion, let us talk how to preserve digital archives. Preserving digital archives is a difficult task to take on. There are different methods and there are many different ways to do it. There are three main types of preservation. The first one is preservation of the original media. The first type preservation of the original media is when you have a hard copy that is in good condition and can be preserved as such. The second one is preservation of the content. The second type preservation of the content is when you have digital copy that you can use to preserve your archive. The third one is preservation of the metadata. The third type preservation of metadata is when you have a digital copy and metadata that you can use to preserve your archive. We have now come to the end of our session. We hope you must have understood about the digital archiving and its concepts. In case you have any questions regarding what we have discussed today, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's Beshosis from TNV Academy. Thank you.